guys today's video i will show you how to add a sticky section or sticky add to chart button on page fly app uh, product page or home page uh, like this if we visit a site uh, you can see uh, after a section this sticky comes people can buy from this uh, also uh, if we scrolling okay we see this okay it's also if we inspect and go tablet or other mode okay then we go mobile we see this sticky section or button okay today i will show you how we do that we need to go paste fly editor okay i go a page okay i take a demo okay just uh, now i visit my store is uh, here no sticky section or add to chat button we need to add it okay we go paste fly editor then we need to select uh, take a layout okay we take a layout here okay here a column and row we take we take a add, add to chart button here you cannot add also text and other things here also uh, take two column three columns as you wish okay we just select a product here i take a demo product okay you now you need to customize this uh, uh, you need to customize this uh, button uh, you can customize from styling here all the thing oh because uh, i just paste my code uh, which one i customize you can customize from here okay this one comes uh, how you we need to align this I'll just go column then align center text align center you can change font size everything font family margin padding everything here you see i use uh, if i take this okay here i i select all then we see this uh, button okay how we this one is also fine okay i just save now publish then we go view live page you go here you can see this one fixed how we can do this sticky when we scroll down it comes okay then we need to select section then here you can go general we can see attributes here two option id class here id we take a id uh, sticky you can take any id name i just take a uh, sticky zero one okay okay i just save it now you need a code for sticky i will provide this code on my description box you can copy this code from my description i just take this code from my notepad i will already note this okay i just copy this code then in, then here you can see a add custom code option left side here you can use custom css and javascript code uh, i just paste this code here okay then save and change okay then we go save and published i think it's now working okay then we go view live page just delete those 
if you go here you can see add to chart you need to align it okay um, you can use a uh, left side margin from this button here if you need here you can use margin if we use margin 50 is gone right then if you use this side 50 is left you can use it as you wish what you need okay it's done i think you guys can understand this